three, two, Everybody. one, three, two, one, live. What's going on, guys? You almost miss Allie, like, not making the live show. It's a lie. She went to go get these uh, these presents that presents. we got, and she was there, she was gone. There's a lot of present boxes that we need to open. Oh, I'm so excited to be hanging out with you guys again. We missed the live show last week, so we're back. Yeah, yeah, my neck was bad. Yeah. I was in bed crying. You hurt your neck. Hurt your neck. But it's I much just, better now. Yeah, I'm fine now. Thanks to your mama. I can do that. To mama. We have lots and lots of people here already, which is really cool. I'm um, just going to start saying hi to people. Before it goes by too fast, I wanted to say happy 21st birthday to Deb's daughter, Anna. Yeah. Yes. Anna? Anna? 21st birthday. 21st. Hey That's a big one. I Don't remember do that. Anything I wouldn't do. That, now it's not really fun to do bad things when you're 21, you know? Like, 21 was like, how long ago was that for you, Callie? Like 40 years ago? Probably about 42 years about 42 ago. 42 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. So turnt. <laughs> so turnt. How's everybody doing today? What's can up? hear us and stuff. Oh, yeah. We didn't ask that. Can you guys hear us I'm and sure see us can. okay? Sounds like neck pillow time. Mm, wow. pillows. Oh, look, Ben's here in the chat. That's weird. And what is Steffi's in, in the, the chat. chat. Ben's right there. Oh, Steffi's here too. <laughs> so, what up, girl? Ben's in town to help us take pictures of all the uh, vintage Western, Western wear that we got. I might want to. <laughs> He's super excited. One of Ben's favorite things to take pictures of is jeans, right, Ben? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he loves I, I have an easier way for you, though. I'll show you tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, we there are other ways up. we can do photos of jeans. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a lot of people saying this is like their first time in the chat. I saw a few people saying this is their second time. So welcome, guys. We're really gang excited gang. to hang gang out with you. Gang. <laughs> gang, gang. Michael Dunley, gang, gang. <laughs> I had to say it. This is just going to be kind of like an open forum type episode. Oh um, I did put the title of this video is selling on eBay and Amazon in 2019 tips and tricks. So throughout this video, we'll give you guys some like tips and tricks that we've taken over into 2019. That will probably help you guys out. Um, if you sell on eBay or Amazon, that's what we're here for to kind of help you guys, you know, learn how to sell on eBay and Amazon and and like maximize your profits on eBay and Amazon. So. And it's then, good that Ryan's here because he has all the answers. True I have so story. many answers. I keep them in here. And then when you leave, I don't answer any of the hard questions. I only and answer it turns the fun, easy questions. Science with Allie. Science with <laughs> Allie. Why does um, that happen? It's just easier that way. We do have a we do, Pat we do have a couple giveaways to do tonight, so stay tuned for that. Um, we're gonna give away I don't know we'll probably give away some hats, maybe some cash. I don't know, but we'll do it based on thumbs up. So three hundred and fifty seven people watching right now. Whoa. I think we should do our first giveaway. We'll make it hard. We'll do our first yeah. giveaway like two hundred thumbs ups. Yeah, Whoa. and then Whoa. until then we'll just uh, we'll answer your question and or your questions and try to help you guys out. So. Any tips on selling on eBay or Amazon in 2019? Live Chain says he writes them on his abs, question mark. Oh my gosh. I like, I've lost all my abs. I Ryan's like, what chat. abs? <laughs> They're <laughs> always there. Be kind to yourself. You're Your just like ice cream more than you like abs. Wow. Ouch. No, I'm good. I'm getting back in shape again. So, I almost Ryan gets back in shape fast. Today. It's not fair. I'll it's never true. have abs, but Ryan's like, oh, you could just interval fast. It's true. For like intermittent fast sorry. intermittent fasting for like a week and then you have abs so i think the first like actual question we should answer which is kind of a big one um i've, I've heard a lot of people talking about this um, a lot of people are saying that their, their sales on ebay have been pretty slow um since january like have your sales slowed down is a question that we've we've gotten quite a lot mm -hmm. um, and the answer is yes like our ebay sales have slowed down uh, but here's the thing, guys. After we've been re we've been reselling on eBay now for years and years, and January the January slowdown after the holiday season is pretty typical. Uh, so I don't think it's any worse than the past couple years from what I've seen mm. so far. There's been a few like categories. One thing that I will say is um, used clothing sales have definitely slowed down on eBay, and I think one of the big reasons for that is because Posh Macari. Depop, there's these other big up and coming players that are starting to take eBay's market share. Um, and market eBay, share. yeah, yeah. They just like a little Brian. bit, hey, my bad. just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so, Ben's fault. so it's you can definitely see like kind of a swing in, in the used clothing market. I think that new clothing is still selling very well on eBay, I haven't seen any slowdown there. And I think that every other category is still for us, anyway, is still selling pretty normal on eBay. So 
if you're worried about like your sales starting to slow down, I would say kind of step back and, you know, don't, don't like, get too overwhelmed, you know, because sales will say, you know, the market goes like this, sales go up and down. One thing that I will say is if you are only selling used clothing and only selling used clothing on eBay, I would say it might be time to change your strategy, maybe get into other different categories, maybe start cross posting on apps like Poshmark and Macari. Um, but I would say that if, if you're only selling used clothing, I would say the best thing to do right now is to kind of transition into other categories and start adding more inventory to what you're doing. Does that make sense? Totes. I just watched Ben like annihilate two coffee crisps. Mm. Oh, yeah? Like y'all have Hard. coffee crisps. Was that good, Ben? Yeah. Remember we all got sent packages? I had a package in the pantry. Nice. I got ate all of mine that night. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, maybe it's the insane. next day. It's not insane. Mm. It's super easy to eat right. an entire <laughs> pack of candy. And then Paula Smith says sales have gone way up since I started using promoted listings. Mm. Yeah, so we've been saying this. As, promo as soon as promoted <laughs> listings came out on eBay, we started saying like, you guys should start experimenting, start using promoted listings. There's a reason why eBay put it there. Obviously it makes eBay more money, but there's ways to use promoted listings where it doesn't really cost you more. Cause most people out there um, were using sales, right? So they would, they would every once in a while in their old inventory, they would run like a 20% off sale. Well, try this instead of running a sale, try promoting your item at 10% instead of running a 20% off sale and just kind of see what happens, you know? Alan Brady asks, what's your favorite vintage t-shirt you own, Brian? Ooh. What's my favorite vintage really t-shirt that I own? I've got a bunch of new ones recently. I'm going to say- Callie's mom it's... said she helped eat all the coffee crisps. So that makes sense. I was <laughs> like, you would get chat. sick though if you ate all of them in one night, wouldn't you? Not with this stomach. <laughs> okay. What is? I mean, I would want to eat them all. What is my favorite vintage t-shirt that I own? Yeah. I'm going to say it's one that you have not purchased yet. Ooh. Oh, well, I don't own that one then. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think honestly, my favorite one right now, which I haven't even wore it, is that Red Hot Chili Peppers one. Uh, I got it. Uh, no, it's yeah. a, it's not even like super rare. I just love the graphic. It's a bootleg 2006 um, Stadium Arcadium Red Hot Chili Pepper shirt. It's so sick. Front and back graphics. I love it. You have really good vintage shirts, like that Go Tank shirt. I love my Go Tanks one for sure. That one is yeah. awesome. But I love, I've been really, really into vintage t-shirts lately. So I've been, I've been buying like <laughs> for like five or six a week. <laughs> I tried to buy some today. Oh, I failed. Oh, Kelly. Oh, 550 people watching right now. What are we at? 177. 177. But Callie, you won today. I did. Focus win. on your successes. True. Yeah. Callie killed you wanna, it today. You wanna, tell everyone. You want to tell people what you found today? I done walked into Salvation Army <laughs> on a day I wasn't even going to go. <laughs> and hey, then. Ben. Ben, can you grab the light and move it a little closer? Yeah, because I'm like super pale. <laughs> the, <laughs> but, the shadows keep like going. I closer. walked in Just in a little, little bit, bit closer. Do you guys want to hear my story? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so I walked into Salvation Army. First of all, the parking lot was crazy. And then I realized, oh, it's Martin Luther King Day. And then there was this massive sign that said 50% off the mm. entire ah. store. Entire. So I went into the home goods section first. And the first thing I saw was a new sealed in the box Friends Seen It DVD game set. Friends is mine. And I looked it up and wasn't looking at it right and still got excited. I looked at pre owned ones and they were selling for like 40 to 50 bucks. And then I showed Ryan and he was like, nah, girl, you're going to get like a hundo for that yeah. thing. And I was like, okay. And then I had listed it tonight when I had got home from work and now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Your accents like change so much as you tell a story. It's amazing. It's so funny. I don't. It just Your happens. accents are awesome. I don't even oh, think look. about it. LV Pink Panther, Vicky. Yes! Vicky's in the chat. We really hope that Katie's feeling better. Hopefully she's recovering recovering uh, well. I hope you guys are getting some sleep. Yes. You know you And you're sleep. not freezing. They're up north. No. They're in Ooh. Vegas. Vegas. Is it cold in Vegas right now? What I'm about sure. What weather like in Vegas sure right it's now? Probably, it's cold everywhere right now, I think. Yeah. And too good says, hey, hey, saw you guys on the newest round two episode. That's awesome. That's nice. exciting. That was so cool. It was a long episode. We actually ran into people that watch us on YouTube. What was their the couple's name? We put them in our vlog. At round two? I'm not sure. I forgot. They were Sorry. very sweet, though. We're at 198. We're two thumbs ups away from doing a giveaway, Ooh, guys. Pat, two Pat thumms up away? Public, Where is he? Let me look. It says, Ben. Yeah, Ben. Move the lighting. Yeah, Ben. Get me iced tea. Yeah, Ben. <laughs> Talk the dog. Talk take, the dog. Take for a the while. dog for a while. Yeah, Ben, adjust Callie's <laughs> rabbit ears. 
You know who's directing things. <laughs> come adjust Callie's rabbit ears. <laughs> yeah, then come on, fix them. I need to put uh, adjust Callie's rabbit ears. Something. Oh, we got a super chat. A that. super chat. What first super with, chat of the night. Like we should have a super chat song. We should have a super chat. Super chat. Make it, gonna I'm going to make anything. it more Stop. look like a bunny. There you go. Nice. That doesn't look any it's, different. This one Thank. might just flop. I like that it's flopping. Yeah. Thank you, Silver Stacker Joe, for the $2 super chat. How many items should I keep listed on eBay? I mean, that all. Minimum of 50. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it comes down to what you, how much you want to sell. Really, I mean, if you can have ten thousand things listed on eBay, then that's what you should do. But if you only have one thing listed on eBay and it's a hundred thousand dollar item, then that's also True. good. You know what I mean? So it what depends on what your goals are. Yeah. yeah, I would say like on on average with the people that we deal with, with an average sales price of let's say twenty to thirty dollars, um, I think it's it's important to get up to a hundred listings and kind of maintain that until you can grow past that. I th I think that for like the students that we've worked with, I think that we've seen. Um, we've seen their sales start to pick up after a hundred listings and then 250 listings. And then there's a, there's a pretty significant swing. I think once they get up to 500 listings, like consistently listed on their store. Remember whenever we were trying, we went from 500 listings and we were trying to break 600 mm -hmm. and as many things as things we were, were listing, selling. we're selling. Yeah. 500 we couldn't so get up to 600. 500 is a pretty big listing together. I know 500 is a pretty big, like landmark. Yeah. How many crazy. listings I have. On your eBay Three, store? Yeah. One. Exactly. And it's the one oh. you put up today. <laughs> you sold those Spice Girl it's things that you found yeah. at the garage sale. That was cool. Ooh, yeah. R Kelly's done well. RVA Flips. Out. Thank you for the $4.99 super chat. Thanks, guys, for staying legit. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Thank you. We promise you that our channel will always be 100% real. No green screens, I promise. <laughs> I don't promise. I don't promise. Yes. I'm totally fake. Um. I can't find 500 things in my whole town. That's, you know what? There's, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of resellers yeah. who live in more like rural towns. And I know that it's harder for you guys to find inventory. I think that one thing to be, um, to be like aware of is you're not restricted to your town. Try to make with the internet, you can make connections pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Look at like the, the vintage deal that we just did, right? That was a deal with, um, someone in Kentucky. We live in Florida. So there's deals to be made. You just have to kind of like put your feelers out there. One thing that it's I will networking. say, networking is huge. And, yeah, and it's that's not- That's how we've met the person right. is it, from networking. It's not face just face-to-face -face networking. Like get on Instagram. There's a huge reseller community on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know what kind of deals you're going to make. So. And there's a lot of online arbitrage as well. Like we buy items on eBay and flip them again on eBay. Like right. We've done that multiple times. Right. Buy items on eBay and flip them on Amazon. So right. you just- Lots of ways to make yeah, money. Yeah, it is it is a little time consuming and you are behind the computer a lot, but if you really dedicate yourself to it, you it will pay off. It's just, right. it's time. Thank you, Thrifty Meg, for the 99 cent super chat. We appreciate it. We're at 273 thumbs up, so Ooh. we can do a giveaway now. What do we have? We have 650 people watching, so this Ooh, should be fun. Whoa. Give it away, give it away, give, give it, it away, away now. now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that um, this week, instead of doing the like what sold and then guess the price giveaway, because we've done that so many weeks in a row, I think we're going to just yeah. ask a question about maybe some of our past videos and see yeah. who's been watching. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's also easier yeah. to search for that versus a number. True. What should we give away first? A hat or money? Oh, or happy what? birthday, Julie. Happy birthday, Julie. What should, what should we give away first? Um, $20. Yeah. Kelly says 20, 20 bucks. All okay. Right, let's do 20 yeah. bucks. The first giveaway will be for $20 cash, cash money. Well, cash meaning, uh, someone yeah, should Cal. send us coffee, Chris. We have a whole so bunch Callie of coffee. Can eat it's easy for a whole bag of cash. Well, he <laughs> said like earlier, Kelly's like, give away a thousand dollars. We should have a coffee <laughs> crisp me. eat off. Ooh, I would win that for sure. Yeah, you probably would. I don't want to play. <laughs> ben might win, actually. Amanda, thank you for the $2 super chat. Uh, he says, thank you for all your tips. Tips for tips. tips You're welcome. Tips. All right, guys. So what we'll do is we will ask you guys a question $20, $20. about one of our past videos. And the first person to guess the answer correct gets $20 uh, sent directly to their PayPal, which should be pretty fun. And Jesus. Oh, a date with Callie. Oh. Okay, Arkham. Keep on Did I say that right. Just DM Arkham. Callie. Keep on selling. <laughs> Thanks for your information. Thank you for your $2 super chat. We appreciate it. 
All right, guys, let's give away 20 bucks. Ready? So Thrifty Meg, <laughs> we'll get back to your question. Do you recommend auctions buy it now or mix of both? Actually, let me answer that quick <laughs> before it like slips my mind. Sorry. Um, so 99% of what we do is buy it now. It's just the way that we like to list. We only recommend doing auctions to clear out old inventory. So if we have inventory that's been sitting for like 90 days, we'll run it as an auction just to clear it out and get our money back. So um, we do 99% buy it now. All right, here we go. The question, the first question for $20 cash is in the last video that we posted, the one where we did, you don't know the answer? No, I didn't finish watching that video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know the answer. Blah, 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 blah. So you can't hear the whisper. Got it? Y yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Okay. Thank you for the super chat, Yalin. All right, guys. So the question is, in our last video, everybody's like going to watch it really quick. It's, ah! it's long. It's like 50 minutes long. So good luck. <laughs> in the last video that we did, the Western Hall video, where we bought the um, all the Western vintage Levi's and all that stuff, how many pairs of jeans did we get? Go. So how many pairs of jeans were sent to us? Western. Oh, wow. There Whoa. Listen. Okay. All right. Immediate answer. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. All right. We have a winner. We have a winner. That was insane. I honestly, easy, I, I thought that would take longer. Michael, Michael Mar Martinenza. Martinenza. The answer Martinenza. was 108, and Michael got it like literally as soon as Callie said go. So that's amazing. You win. Good job. Um, Callie's gonna in the chat. She's gonna put her email. Um, just send us your PayPal email address, wow. and we will send you twenty dollars cash. People are saying your uh, DM's gonna be blown up. Callie, Callie. do it after they. I yeah, really want to get this guy on it. Slide on to, in. I was going to say proposition, but that's an inappropriate word. New word. Proposition? To... Huh? It's not naughty. I mean, it's not a naughty word. It's a proposition, Callie, on a date? No. Or a date? I think so. Not unless no. you're charging like people. Guys, 100, <laughs> 108 was oh the answer, gosh. and Michael already got it. So you can stop saying 108. <laughs> JJNYC said for Ben for just being Ben. Oh. $4 super chat. Nice. Ben, so do I get that? I got you for nope. four bucks after this chat. Uh, oh, like two, yeah. two dollars. We'll buy Ben well, food. Minus YouTube. Again. Minus YouTube's cut. So two bucks. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. <laughs> um, Oh, by the way, guys, that Western Hall that we did did end up getting over a thousand likes on it. It's at like seventeen hundred, I think, actually. Do we need to be in live chat? Also, by the way, we oh, it's here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kelly has it. Um, mm -hmm. we, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. We had yeah, we had over a thousand likes, so we are going to be doing part two of that video. We might film that tomorrow, actually, because oh. that inventory just came in. The rest of the the Western stuff, so I think we might film that tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, so many Erica's boxes. in the chat. The girl I met at Salvation Army today. What, what? up? That's oh, awesome. Nice. Thanks for coming up and saying hi. We met someone today named Destiny. Yeah, Destiny. It was really nice to meet you. Destiny came by our warehouse. Oh, yeah, and we got a... Yep, it was really nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> Jazzy Battle sent us $10. Hell. Big spender. Money, 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 money. I'm new to this. eBay and my job forced me. Wait. Forced me because I have epilepsy. I'm a risk here, and I learned only made seven hundred fifty dollars in sales in one week. Oh, whoa! It's my only income, so I need to learn. Well, if you've made seven hundred and fifty dollars in sales in one week, that's Is that net or gross. Right. Either I mean, way. either way, it's good. You know, yeah. if you're making fifty percent on seven fifty, that's still pretty decent right. for your first week. Um, my advice to you would be to continue doing what you're doing and try to multiply that. So, listen, if you could ten times seven fifty, that's seventy five hundred bucks a week. Um, so and get out there on social media and follow other resellers, especially on Instagram and see what they're buying and selling and learn, right. like learn as much as you can from everyone Absorb so that you're not the making knowledge. their mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Learn from other people's mistakes and just don't make them. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. why they started this channel. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we we honestly, like one of the big reasons why we started this channel was so to tell mistakes. you guys our mistakes so that you don't <laughs> make the same mistakes, So many. which I think we need to do a video like the top five mistakes we've made or whatever that might help out a lot of people but pat app sent us five dollars and asked a really good question he said what's the best way to run promoted listings for each item or only for specific items and how do you set your rates compared to the training rates so there's di there's different theories on this because promoted listings is still a fairly new thing on ebay um there's still like there's a lot of resellers experimenting with what to do so i can't tell you anything that's set in stone but what i can tell you is what currently works for us 
And what currently works for us is we run, um, we run, we, blah, blah, blah. we run promoted listings um, on specific items, not on everything. Um, right. and, <laughs> no, I just keep talking. I, it's really, hard when you're like, sorry, you're like, I just you're like I opening was, presents. Over I'm there. not. I was quietly lifting them. Okay. Nobody even heard me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so we run promoted listings on specific items. In my opinion, like if you're the only person selling an item, right? If you if you own the item on eBay and you don't have a whole bunch of other competition, mm -hmm. there's really no point in promoting that item because promoting your item on eBay, it, it drives it to the top of the search. And if you're the only one or one of maybe five people selling that same item, why would you pay extra to promote it? So I think the only re the only time to promote an item is when there is competition in that category or for that specific item. So, for example, if I'm selling a vintage uh, Tommy Hilfiger, you know, 90s uh, button down shirt, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of those shirts out there. So more than likely, I'm going to promote that item between like five to eight percent. Uh, your other question was, do you set your rates compared to the trending rates? Never. No, we're still, like I said, we're still playing around with that. Um, but sometimes eBay says like promoted at 20%, which is ridiculous. So I don't even think those yeah. trending rates, like, I, I think they just like yet. throw numbers out there. <laughs> um, so what's worked well for us is like I said, between mm -hmm. five to 8%. And we have tried, like, we've tried doing it at 1%. We've tried doing it at 10%. So that sweet spot is where we're at, where we're at right now. So. Would you like to open presents now, babe? Well, I mean, we should start. Okay. Because we have a lot. Good. Oh, Lauren, wait. Lauren sent us four dollars and ninety nine cents. Always send us coffee money. Oh, Lauren said she wants to go on a shopping date with you, Callie. Oh. Girl, come on down to Florida. I know. Come down and visit us. Bring your dog. And Mari Deathly Deals sent us a dollar ninety nine. I know a girl on your right, but who is the lefty girl? <laughs> on my left? Who's that? Who's, left. who's that lefty Which girl? Which one do you know? <laughs> purple hair, or purple Dude, bandana. I'm totally gonna start calling you Lefty, lefty. Cali you now. But I'm oh my a God, Lefty Cali. That's so funny. Oh, hey, That's my rap name. By the way, guys, we have 759 people, 762 people watching Who right now. Are you people? Um, 320 thumbs, 20 thumbs, 20 thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. We'll do another giveaway. So just 400. Yeah, 400, I, 320. We can get we can get 80 thumbs ups pretty soon. All right. Did, did you write? Is this someone's handwriting or is this a font? That oh my god! Printed? No, that's a handwriting. That's really good handwriting. How you do that? Oh my god! That's like I realized my laptop. The craziest, the most amazing. Yeah. Should I show it really fast? Sure. Can you see it? It's really good handwriting. That's like the most amazing handwriting I've I've ever seen. It's oh my god! Goodness. I'm really blown away right now. Okay. This is a gift from Jessica. Jessica. At the end, it says, stay awesome. Tell Callie I said, hey. Hey. Wait, what Jessica? Is it the Jessica I know? Resting or she's just saying hi? Dot thrift dot face. Oh, no. Resting no. thrift face. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. I love that name. That is um, funny. Jazzy Battle sent us another $10 super chat and said, uh, can you find me on Facebook and PM me? Everyone who reads this, I want to power sell. I would like for y'all to find me on eBay and tell me if my postings are good. Can you put, um, Kelly, can you put our email address oh. in the chat? And then Jazzy, send us an email and we'll we'll take a look at your listing. So, yeah. Very sweet. Okay. So this is a present. 371. We got to get to 400. <gasps> What'd you get? said rabbit ears. He doesn't know me. My name is Callie. I'm a Guys, friend that works. Rabbit there ears. is an amazing item in Give it this me. present and you get to see it right after these messages just kidding <laughs> oh okay so Who's this was for? this was um on instagram i saw this and i was like that is a sweet find i wish i had one of those and they were like we're gonna send it to you <laughs> so, you guys are too nice she to said that she's hoping to one day oh. share her journey to help people the way we help people this is so sick this is mine by the way i know I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out I the bag so you guys can see this. This is so ASMR. sick. Look at this, guys. Masters fanny pack. I love that it's that green color too. I know. This thing is so awesome. It sounds and looks like there's wow. oh, maybe it's just padding. This it's is like gonna new. be my new like go-to fanny pack for sure. How will you wear it, right? I'm gonna wear it like this. Oh yes, oh. you will. What do you think, Ben? Are you waiting in line? <laughs> am, I, am I waiting in line, Dude, Ryan? Too, your Ryan too. kit is so fresh. <laughs> so fresh, that kit. This is sick. I like that. Thank you so much. It is really cool. Does it have a back zipper, too? I like oh, it. Oh, and then Dory's student sent us a present next. Oh, cool. I guess we'll wait like 
a couple of minutes to open that because we also have yeah. those three over there. Okay. So. Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff to open on camera today. So. <laughs> um fanny for life yeah guys fanny packs are back if you guys ever find any vintage fanny packs pick them up because they're selling for like some of them are selling for ridiculous money right now and I'll they have send them to us also yeah send them to us <laughs> i have proposition to. us with your fanny packs. <laughs> we will gosh. trade hats for fanny packs i wear Jesus. mine all the time <laughs> everywhere i never carry a purse anymore david says ali found one for you today on its way soon what Whoa. all right david like an Allison Alley? I like turtles. <laughs> Find a fanny pack with some turtles on it. Oh, Callie. Turtle, turtle, turtle fanny pack. I should have one custom made for you. Do it. Because I'm mean to you, so that would be a nice thing to do. Look, I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> one witch lady says, I sold two vintage fanny packs thanks to you guys. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, it's amazing. Love it. Yeah, we know. Valerie, we know that fanny means a bad word in the UK. It's the same when we lived in Australia because we lived in, we, oh, that's right. we lived in Western Australia for a year oh. and we couldn't figure out like why everybody was looking at us funny when well, we were saying fanny facts. Is Someone it a told bad us word? immediately because like, your mom knew. It, Vowel language? It means the front. I know the what crude it, words, uh, okay. but the crude not, version I mean, of that. It's like kind of, yeah. I almost just said the B word. <laughs> Can you do that? I'm sure. Vagina. Oh <laughs> my god! And demonetized. Thank you, Callie. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no! Sure. I said it. Um. Oh, that's a really good question. So this is this kind of pertains to like selling on eBay and Amazon in 2019. We've had a lot of questions come in about the new shipping rates, guys. A lot of questions come in. Oh, sell quick, ship quick in the chat. What's up? And then Big Drift Thrift said they're going to knit you a turtle fanny pack. Whoa. That my would be friend. literally the coolest thing legit ever my seen. best friend now. <laughs> yeah, Evan says, isn't rooting a bad word in Australia too? It is. Yes, it is. Rooting? You guys can go look that one up though. Yep. Um, okay, so what, what was I saying again? I don't know. About the... Um, Sell quick, ship quick? No, 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 no. Oh, I totally forgot. I lost my train of thought again. Fanny packs. No. Turtles. Oh, about shipping. We keep getting, uh, we get a lot of questions about like the shipping rates changing. How are we going to adjust our, you know, are we going to raise our prices? What are we going to do with that? And across the board, obviously shipping prices are going up. I think it's like 5% roughly. It's a pretty big price increase. It's one of the biggest price increases from the postal service in a very long time. So um, we're not happy about it, but it's part of doing business guys. Like rates on things go up because we don't control the post office. Um, we can't control what they charge for, for, you know, how much it costs to ship. So yes, our prices are going to adjust accordingly. And I think that across the board, you'll see that prices will adjust accordingly. Um, if, you know, if it's going to cost us 50 cents more on average to ship first class, we're going to add that into our prices. And remember that the way that we, the way that our business works, which is not the right model for everybody. I understand that a lot of sellers charge shipping, which is okay. For us, free shipping is the model. It's the way to go. Um, and I I mean, I gen, I think that it is a really good model to do free shipping. eBay gives your listing listings a boost in search for having free shipping on. So that's the main reason why we do it. <clears throat> so for us to offer free shipping, we absolutely will increase our prices. The way that we list our stuff is let's say that there's a, let's say we're looking up an item and the comps are, the, the sold comps are $24 plus $5 shipping. Okay, so $29 total together. We're not gonna list that item for $24 free shipping. We're gonna list it for $29 free shipping. So we're technically not losing out on any revenue because you still pay eBay fees on that shipping cost anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So all we're doing is taking the shipping cost, adding it to our listing price, putting it together, and then offering free shipping. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. All right. <laughs> nice. And seven, I'm trying to read. 776 people watching right now. We're at 395 thumbs ups. When we get to 400, we'll do another giveaway. Yeah, first rates are going. Uh, they're going zone. So instead of it being like you know a flat one through 16 ounces, a flat price, they're going to be zone rates, kind of like the like a uh, flat rate zone A boxes. So. That. And regional A. We're just going to deal with it. We're just going to deal with it. Yeah. Um, rates will be up 11.7%. It depends on the the um, the shipping method. They're not all going up seven or 11.7%, or but they are going up. Yeah. <clears throat> so if a rate goes up 11.7%, so do our prices. It is what it is. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. You want to open that one? Yes. This is a present from Doug. 
Duh. They want to thank You're us for all the help we've done for their store. Mentoring has been very helpful. Oh, awesome. Yay, yeah, Doug. Is he not in the more. chat this time? Doug, are you in the chat? Is Doug the guy with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very welcome, you Doug. Doug. I'm glad that you've oh, enjoyed the mentoring nice. program so far. Ooh. Nice message. This looks like shoes. Anybody? Whoa, oh, a... he said, hence the creepy request for Ali's shoe size. Oh. Uh, token of gratitude. Probably unicorn Crocs. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a pretty expensive price tag. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wonder. Here, you want to open this? That was a really These good movie, you. Wonder. Wait. Post Malone Crocs. Post Malone Crocs. If it's Post Malone Crocs, I'll this fight This is really you cool. It. Should we this read this? This says Ryan. If you think we should read it, you should read it. All right. So, to anyone watching, if you're thinking about signing up for the next round, don't wait. If you're serious about growing or even starting your eBay business, Ryan and Allie are great mentors to learn from. Anyways, here's a couple things from my last haul that just shouted Rally Roots, so I figured I'd send it along as an apple on the teacher's desk sort of token of gratitude, hence the creepy request for Allie's shoe size. Also threw in a few golden harp mementos. Not only is the golden harp the coat of arms of Ireland, but it's also Guinness. one of the greatest thrift <laughs> flips ever told in a fairy tale. An old cow flipped for magic beans, which Jack uses to eventually turn into a solid golden harp. There's ah. one for Kelly as well. Thanks, Thanks guys. Doug. I can actually read. <laughs> I was worried. I was worried on camera that I would, you know, like seize up and not be able to read. Very well. Ben, are you are you what is this? Are you getting Callie a date? <laughs> <Okay>. Whoa. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Those are much? crazy. They're new. Those are nice. Where those are it? can I show the camera? Yes, please. Those? those are incredible. Look at those things. It what? literally looks like mochi. It does. Those are crazy. What those brand are these? Foot. Those are insane. They're called Wonder Brand. What? Those Hold are on. so cool. They're velvet too. They're these are wow. gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, look what I got. <laughs> oh, I got some Oakley. So, oh, they're a perfect Oak fit. No way. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get so many See, I knew your shoes. Oh, I knew camera. your shoes. Oh. <laughs> I got these sick Oakley bathing suits. Look at that. Oh, those are awesome like yeah. colors. They're like super, they're super soft. Color blocky. Wow. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it. This is fabulous. So it's a girl bull and then a boy bull. Did you see they're different bulls? Oh. oh. A king and a queen. They're those are, those are queen. super cool. It is a king and a queen. All right. Yeah. Dan, Dan Halen, I agree. I agree <laughs> with your comments. <laughs> no Wait, I missed it. Yeah. Are you going to open that? I'm confused as to what that is. They're like the harps, <laughs> the Guinness harps. Oh. I yeah. put my socks back on because it's cold. I put my socks, socks on. on. Mm -hmm. right. All right, where are we at? 434 so thumbs up so we can do another giveaway. So this giveaway. next this next giveaway will be for a hat. Um, and actually, I just checked. We have like three of these left. We have three like three beanies left. So if you want a beanie, you can have one. Um, so you get to choose like a beanie. We have the dad hats and we have the snap up still um you can choose they're on our website so if you want to choose which one you want you can put it or you can go to the website and see it and i'm gonna source tote bags reusable tote yeah. bags so that there's less plastic in the ocean soon yeah the next soon. um the, yeah the next things the next march that we want to do are tote bags and i'm gonna open it over here shirts Tote totes all right should i ask the question that you said earlier yeah because... all right guys for a hat, and it'll be right after Callie types the word wow. go. These are cool. Whoever guesses it right gets a hat. The question is, what city was Allie born in? Maybe you should point to. Allie. <laughs> what city was <laughs> Allie born in? Go. All right, Callie. Someone's just... going to get it in like the first three. Callie just typed go. I always say it. So totally. there you go. <laughs> Someone got it immediately. Everyone knows. <laughs> That wasn't a hard question. I know. Did we get the right one? Yeah. Right person? I'm All pretty right. sure we met Stephanie Purdue. Natalie from Atlanta. We met her in Atlanta as well. Do you remember Natalie? Yeah, I remember yes. Natalie. Yeah. yeah, so. The answer was Atlanta, sure. and the winner was, is Stephanie Purdue. You win a, this is also from Doug. These are really cool. I love part. this bronzed oh. color. Oh, it is, it is super cool, actually. It matches all of our, like, medieval. It's also my favorite beer. Fur. Oh. <laughs> Oh, because it looks like the Guinness. Yeah. That makes sense. Ha. 
All right. Do we have more stuff to open? Yeah, there are, there Guys, are actually like my three present from dogs. Boxes. Oh, sorry. Whatever. Nice. Oh, thanks. Whatever. Oh, it's blue. Whatever questions you guys you guys have, put them in the chat now. And as as Allie and Callie open up presents, I'll do my best to answer your questions because I want to respect Ireland. everybody's time is here too to get answers for the questions. So China, do I look a little Asian? I think so. What are your zodiac signs? Gemini. Gemini. Aries. Here's the box for you guys. Thanks, dude. Box. This one. I think this is the one from. Um, your uh, mom. Who's this one from? <laughs> Oh, oh, kidding. Love you, Mama Roots. Mercari. We haven't actually sold a Mercari, but I know a lot of people that shop on Mercari. Whoa. Oh, oh, what? That's a cool one. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing over here? What? This one's from one of our favorite people in the world, Drew Conway. I love this one. Look, actually, look, Drew just Whoa. sent us $2 and said, where's There's the... Drew. Where's the pinata cord? It's gonna die this. this oh, week. I don't want them to kill it, Drew. <laughs> do, 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 oh, everybody do, wants do, to do, smash do, my pinata unicorn. This thing is dying this week for sure. I Can't used to wait. play that game all the time, Carmen Sandiego. I was yeah. now I want to download it and play it. it. Carmen Sandiego. You must be around. No, you said you were older than us, though. My guess is you're like 36 from what you said. Check out what you sent us. Oh, it's Carmen San Diego. Yeah, we found That's amazing. it. We found Where it. in the <laughs> world and did look, you find that? This. Oh, sorry, that was really loud. Everybody, I apologize. That Ooh. says "sell me." Ooh, this says "sell me." Sell me. Who wants to guess what's inside? Um, I think it's chocolate. Zero Mind sent us five dollars and said, "Girlfriend and I were recently inspired to start reselling clothing thanks to your videos." Question repricing, is it better to end with 99.95 or 00, zero et cetera? So we don't do either one of those. We do 0 0.97 and 0 0.77, um, mostly because like 0 0.99, 0 0.95 and 00, zero um, everybody uses those. So we wanna be like different. We wanna stand out from the crowd. So we do something different. I would say try out like 0 0.97, see how that works for you? Yeah. Drew says he turned 37 on January 11th. Okay. Oh, I okay. knew it. I knew you were 36. I did some like deductive <laughs> figuring out. And I was like, last year I, I made like a mind profile of Drew. And I was like, she's she really tall. I'm <laughs> pretty sure he's 36. <laughs> also, happy birthday, Drew. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday, Drew. We should send Drew a present. So this says sell me. Whoa. Whoa. What it is. Oh, it's a Ben Sherman shirt. I Look never heard of him. Ben Sherman, size 4XL. Whoa, that's a great shirt. size. Whoa. Sweet, thank you. What kind of buttons them is? A oh, regular kind? It doesn't of look that big, does it? Look nice. at them buttonholes, though, y'all. Oh, yeah, they got they the slanty. side ones. Whoa. Nice. Thanks, Drew. Preach. We nice. will sell it. <laughs> I was actually born in Chicago, Eugenio. Oh, hold on. I nope, Cali was born in Cali. I did live in Cali for six months. It must have been San confusing. Diego, uh, literally translates to whales. I'm, I'm not going to say it. Where is it? <laughs> oh, right. uh, it's just um, another giant present. This one got a you, little smushed on the side. Joshua's place says, do you buy Canon cameras? Josiah. Josiah. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, we do. We buy Canon cameras, mostly to resell. Um, our first like two cameras that we've logged with, the, the first one was like a T5i, I think. Um, and the second one we got was like a a rebel. What's the name of that? No, it's not a rebel. Um, the, it's rebel T five EOS. No, no, no. The vlogging camera. Oh, Mark. Mark two. What is that? I forgot what the name of the camera <laughs> is. Callie knows a lot about the same cameras. camera too. Yeah, you have the same camera. Think of it. Canon G G seven X. G seven X. Yes. So our our. Oh, you're thinking of that one. Sorry, I mixed them up. Our main vlogging camera for like a year was a Canon G seven X Mark two. Um, and now we have a Sony a7 III. Yeah, Ben, that's right. Jealous. <laughs> Jealous. Ben over here. So, so, so jelly. Yeah. Are you going to open this? Oh, Josh this is asked a big if we one. source at the Goodwill outlet. We don't, but people find amazing stuff there all yeah. the time, especially if you're buying for yourself, you know? This is and a you big know box. your size. Christmas Whoa, this flag. has yeah, Christmas so presents in it. This has Christmas presents in it. Oh, this my is goodness. To Allie. You guys, whoa, look at that bag. That's amazing. It got damaged. The box got damaged, I but know. I think everything in it's fine. This one's just to Ryan. Oh, there's a bow dog on it. And it's then this one's to Callie. Is it a turtle? 
Oh my God, Charlie, I can see you getting oh, ooh, like a little adorable tiny house, mochi. Tiny house and like traveling the country. I've been watching a lot of tiny house shows on Netflix. I can I see that. you like homesteading, right? Is it homesteading? This okay. must be for mochi. This is a note in here. That oh. is not annoying at all. It's from <laughs> Leslie. Belated Merry Christmas. Leslie? Oh my gosh, Mo. Callie's easy to shop for, Ryan and Callie, not so much. And of course, I couldn't forget Mochi. Mochi, you got toys. Ooh, I got So in each of your stockings are items that I've collected over the year that remind me of you. Thank Aww. you. And each of you have a handmade item that I made especially for you. Oh, um, yeah. oh Callie, so, I don't want to say what yours is. Why? I don't want to. Well, if you don't know, then I will. I don't want to spoil legal? it. No, no, I just don't want to spoil the surprise because you haven't opened it yet. She crafts on the side as an extra holiday money business. So thanks yep. for everything we do and the entertainment we provide. I was going to try to interrupt you <laughs> the next time you're going to talk. The people who send gifts to us are awesome. Yes. They're, yes. We, we love it. Awesome. Every single gift that we get, we absolutely love. So thank you. I don't you. even feel worthy. It's you're not a sun worthy. catcher. Yeah. I didn't know Ooh. that word, but oh yeah. My gosh. Oh my gosh. I got a Masters I'm of so the Universe sad puzzle. That this got a little squish. This That's bag awesome. is so beautiful. she made this. Shout out from Boston, D Nation. Oh Boston. my goodness. Boston. Thermal printer versus laser printer for labels. Um, we like a Rolo. We thermal. have the we have the Rolo thermal printer and we love it. That's thermal amazing. all the way. Because you don't have to keep That's buying really ink useful all the time. Too. Right. What is this? It saves money in the long run. And it's super fast. How often do we resell the gifts people send us? Never. We we've never resold a gift someone sent us. We keep all of them. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Ooh. Look, a Whoa. unicorn puzzle. That's I got a, hilarious. I got a bulldog puzzle. I got Smurfs lip balm. <laughs> what? <laughs> and check out this cool like wallet zippery thing. This is amazing. That's Point really first. cool. I got a unicorn one. You have a beer one? Yes, because I'm an yes. alcoholic. Oh my like, god! <laughs> I'm not. Kelly, um, you only drink. Let like me answer once Cassie's question. Weeks. Cassie sent us a $2 super chat and says, how do you determine price points list on listings on eBay? Um, that's a really good question. <laughs> uh, so we only, so there's two ways that we determine our price points when we're listing something on eBay. The first thing we do is we look at sold comps. So we, we look up the item on eBay um, and then we sort it by recently sold items. And then we look at what has recently sold on eBay. These are amazing. Girl power. And then after we, <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> this is the hardest thing ever. It's after more after more. we found what's sold on eBay, then we go and look at what is currently for sale on eBay. <clears throat> because Just always do both. If something's sold on eBay for $40, but it's um, what's for sale, that same item is listed for $20, you wouldn't want to list it for 40 because then you, you would be overpricing your item right Right, especially if no one's bought that twenty dollar item yet in a while yeah like why why is it 20 and no right one's bought it? right so you want to look at both you want to look at what has sold and then what is also for sale that's dope ryan's gonna Ooh, I got strangle both of us oh cards. my gosh they're mochi sauce ryan got pokemon cards i got pokemon a i got pokemon cards but did you get a bath bomb bath bomb smells a, so a pineapple. good pineapple Callie, you should open it and, and then put it in a drawer. It. <laughs> oh, I also got a You got one too. Yeah. I got a blankie too. Nice. There's stuff all over my. Oh my yeah. god! I haven't seen unicorn stickers. Pokemon cards in a long time. You know what I love to do with unicorn stickers? What, Allie? Put them on my electronic device chargers. You've put them on mine before too. No, <laughs> that's mine, so that you don't take my stuff because there's a unicorn on it. How old don't is? Don't touch my charger. How old is Mochi? Like she's. I think she's Mochi's like. Half. I think she's almost five. Five. Now. This year. Um, oh. am I a veteran? No, I'm not, John. He's a South African. Yeah. <laughs> oh, which is better. <laughs> Ryan, do you what? like Dragon Ball Z? Yes, I do. <laughs> a this lot. is like a canvas magnet. Cool. Thank you for all the things. These are so many amazing presents. Fuse product says, do you still add best offer when you put the shipping costs into the item price? Um, a lot of the time we still put best offer on our listings, yes. Oh, that's cute. Super oh cute. Oh my goodness. 
I'm just gonna keep showing you as Ryan's answering questions because there's still more. Oh snap! Oh my gosh, it's a bath bomb, a unicorn one. It was a gift just now, Pat. Pat D's. Jennifer wow. says, "Thanks so much for your advice. Started flipping in August to help pay husband's medical bills. Best find yet: twelve vintage Ooh. concert tees for a dollar fifty nine each at Goodwill. Sold eight so far for a thousand dollars. What? Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. What concert?" <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Jennifer, what concert tees were those? And Holler what, what years? Yes, please. Can you send us links to those sold ben, listings? Ben's like so mad right we're now. Freaking out right now. <laughs> also, <laughs> I just want to say this is so precious and I love it so much. And it has a little blep like lychee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got God. it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Guys. There's um, too many amazing gifts in here. Lady loves BMC. I have a big favor to ask you. Can you please show me the difference between a single stitch and a double stitch? You made a video about it. Yeah. It, one of our past videos we did. I, ben, do you want to go find a single stitch? I'm and a wearing double? one. No. Here, come show your single stitch quick. Get up in here. I don't think it's... I mean, you can probably it see it better in a video. Yeah. Take your shirt off. Show them. Okay. Well, a single There's stitch, one stitch line is just two. one stitching line. There you go. And then do you have an example of two? Is that too? Like every other shirt. Yeah. Just just imagine another line. And then that's two. <laughs> I'm pulling a muscle. I'm out. Ugh. That's oh, the difference. The difference. Like, right bracelet? quad is like, what so, just happened? And not always, but most of the time when you find a single stitch item, especially a t-shirt at the thrift store, most of the time that indicates that it's vintage, especially if it's a made in the USA t-shirt. Um, that's a really good way to tell that it is vintage. Because single stitch, uh, doing that single stitch, is actually like a lock stitch. Um, it's a it's a higher quality than doing the double stitch. So they used wow. to make them single stitch because it was a better quality. I didn't know that. I thought that they changed. Oh, there's it Doug. To oh my gosh. No, it's I, easier to do. Apparently, double I'm single. basic because I love unicorns and French bulldogs, and they're on a folder now. Nice. So That's a cool I like that you before. This pile? I know, this dude. Was it's I can't I can't I deal with this. this right now. My pile was pretty big too. Saw what was in it. I don't think we should open any more presents. Wait, we just have to finish the last present. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I cannot just wants deal. To open them. <laughs> you guys, stop sending Alice and Unicorn stuff. Yeah, I, I cannot deal with this. You don't like my purple bandana? It matches my purple t shirt. <laughs> it looks blue. Stockings are really cute. <laughs> All right, you have my putting one. Um, Mike D says, What are your target margins? Mike so, D? across the board, right? So, throughout our reselling business, we're trying to make uh, 50%. So, for every Dollar that goes out, we want to bring in two dollars, so we're doubling our money. Um, do we do it every single time? No, definitely not. Uh, but we don't we don't look at our business as you know. Did we only make ten percent on this one item, and did we make three hundred percent on this other item? We look at it like what is our bottom line, and we track that weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. We look at how much money has the business spent and how much money has come in. So like this week, at the end of the week, I'll total up and say, okay, this week we spent $6,000 and this week the business brought in $8,000. So what is, you know, how much money did the business actually make? And again, we do that at the end of each month, at the end of each week, at the end of each quarter and at the end of the year, obviously. So and somebody yeah. asked, what's the most consistent brand of clothing that we find and resell? That's consistent a really good as in like sells really fast, really well. I think that they mean like how we find it often and then uh, we, we list it and it sells really fast. Like, you know, meat potatoes, often. clothing item, brand that we That's find tough. a lot of. We do in Florida find a lot of Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. But it has to be crazy prints. Crazy prints now because the market's yeah. flooded. So before. A lot of Under Armour. The heat gear Under Armour polos seem to sell well for us, especially if you put them in lots. Um, we find but not as consistent, yeah, necessarily, like but the they sell well and fast. The most, the most prevalent brand that I see at the thrift store is Polo. Yeah, Polo Ralph Lauren, um, which ninety yeah. nine percent of Polo we pass on because it's just not good enough. Today. Yeah, yeah, they were just solid button up. We every time we go thrifting, we pass on a minimum of eight to ten. Yeah, minimum, minimum. Evan sent us $5 and said, how do I stick to my diet and always do my gym workout so I crush my goals in 2019? Ooh, I think honestly- the same question. <laughs> Black coffee. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's you got to do what, what works well for your body. What works well for me is intermittent fasting. So like I don't eat until usually after two o'clock the, in the day. Um, and I stop eating around really around eight or 9 p.m. That's what works well for me. But I think the the two biggest things that I've noticed with dieting 
is um, you have to get enough sleep. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Like you have to get eight hours of sleep. If you're, if you're only sleeping four hours a day, you're not going to lose weight. Yes. They say it's sleep science. is more important than dieting and exercise yeah. when it comes to weight loss. Yeah. Yep. So get, get good sleep. And then number two is find somebody who will hold you accountable. So yeah. it's really, really hard to get in shape by yourself. But if you have someone who you can go and work out with, um, if you have someone who, who like is a, is a good partner who can call you and be like, Hey man, come to the gym. Why are you not at the gym? And if you're not going to the gym, maybe it's somebody who you like come swing, comes and swings by your house and like drags you outside to go for a walk or a run, you know? So like having a, having an accountability partner, I think is a big deal. Can I say number three? No, there's only two. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. We have 10 minutes. Of course. And no, number no. three <laughs> is make sure you are properly hydrating yourself. Yeah, water's important. You don't understand how important that is because if you're you're eating healthy, right? And then you're super dehydrated, yeah. you're going to have weird hunger cravings, right? And you're less Speaking likely to of, hold to yeah, your diet and you will get headaches. Mm. So you're going to want to start, you know, basically self-medicating, right? Which can lead to all, all kinds of things. So I'm just saying you have to society. stay hydrated because cut, cut. hydration curbs hydration? your appetite. It also helps. I mean, I sleep. actually know how much you take your weight and divide it in half and drink that in ounces. Oh, awesome. So if you weigh a hundred a hundred pounds, you drink fifty ounces of water. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have Just one more gift to open while we do this. Seven hundred and sixty people and still ben here. Oh. I saw it already. Oh, you did? No, I saw the top. Guys, it would be really awesome if we could get to five hundred thumbs ups before the end of the video. It should be easy. We're only at four eighty four, but it should be seven hundred and fifty eight thumbs That's up. That's true. It actually does like help our videos out if you give it a thumbs up. So please do. That'd be cool. Yeah, it right. really does. Jazzy. Ooh, this is Jazzy's right. beautifully wrapped. Ooh, Cali. Present for Cali. Thanks. It looks nautical. Ooh. Rally Roots. <laughs> Another really nice handwriting. You guys have great handwriting. Oh, really good handwriting. Thank you for sharing all of your knowledge and experiences. Mentoring program is great. Aww. And love your YouTube channel. Keep up the great work, Leslie. Thank you so much, Leslie. I'm Wait, glad is that this you're the same Leslie from the other present? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Thanks, Leslie. I'm glad you're enjoying the uh, the mentoring program. That's awesome. By the way, the next one, the next time we do a mentoring program will be in, it'll probably be around March 15th. So if you go to, um, if you go to you. our website, Callie put the link in. If you go to our website and submit a form, we'll send you an email when we open up the next spots. Oh, he's going to be so mad. It says Allie gets everything unicorn and this. <sighs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am kind of running out of space, guys, for unicorn things. Our house is pretty small. Ooh, we don't that, have a big home. What is this? Whoa. Oh, it's a coffee mug. Oh, Bro. Yes. yes. This is the best ever. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You guys. It's a catacorn. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a spoon rest. How about it's a ring dish? This is so cool. That's a ring dish. Ah, right? But we can use it as a spoon it's rest a next to the coffee. Trinket tray. It looks like a, a lens, Ooh. but you can drink your Here, liquids out of it. Pen. I don't know what this That's little thing cool. is. Can I open this? This is pretty awesome. But did you see my awesome mug? Ryan, Denise Jones says I March love 15th your mug. is my birthday. It would be a great present for <laughs> the mentoring program. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. That's Brit my dad and so younger cool. brother's birthday. Britt Lynn says, do you use 3D sellers or something similar for store design? So you can go to, um, there's a website called Canva. It's C-A-N-V-A, canva.com. And you can go and design your store banner um, and your logo for free. So I, I do not suggest, let me say this right now. I do not suggest doing like a full HTML store design where they do like crazy coding and make it all, you know, like professional. There's people who sell like complete redesigns of your stores and put heavy HTML and stuff into it eBay across the board does not like heavy HTML in the item descriptions or in your in your eBay store. So go with what they want you to do. What eBay wants you to do is put a banner up that's 1,200 pixels by 270 pixels and a logo up that's 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Yeah. And Drew, we can't read your writing fast. And I would look <laughs> like an invalid on camera. I always, when we're done with the shows, I read the note out loud to everybody like off camera. <laughs> Yes. I'll be honest. <laughs> Your handwriting is so perfect. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at this Look one. Oh, yeah, this is cool. oh, you got a tiny Oh my gosh! I got the shock I can't even. That's cute. 
Well, it's the most this basic will, thing ever. This will be for my espresso in the morning. I cannot so wait to use this. That is so exciting. Is I get to use this bag. It's, it's a Can, reusable Canva. bag. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be the best espresso <laughs> shot in the morning. Dude, that's so cool. Uh. You should take a picture of yours next to mine. Ooh, hey, PG Honeybee says, any storage auction videos in the near future? Ooh, I want to go. Yeah. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, we actually, the one of the ways that we started out reselling was by buying storage units. So we haven't bought storage units in a while just because they're a lot of work, um, but we may do a couple in the future. Yes. I think I'm going to scrapbook is going to cons in this scrapbook. Ooh, Whoa. nice scrapbook. That's cool. It's got a keychain on it. Look at how little it is. Oh, oh my God. It's so cute. So Oh, wow. This is nice scrapbook Sick. paper. So cute. Uh, Mark Duncan, we can't talk about taxes. Sorry. We're not tax professionals. My advice would be to to reach out to, there's a guy, his name's Mark too. Um, he goes by Not Your Dad CPA, and he, he specializes in taxes for resellers. I would reach out to him because he's an actual CPA and we're not CPAs, so... Yeah, we're just not the right people to talk about finances so cuz cool. yeah. they keep changing everything and all the laws. Hey Ben, bring that bulldog in. Here. There's a bulldog <laughs> in. Yes, ma'am. 4 minutes and left in the little. show. Oh, here, Mochi, you can have your um <gasps> her toy. Oh, 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 oh my god. Get that dog. Get that dog. Eat the paper too. She loves it. Okay, I'll move over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the bowl. There's more presents. Um, Emil O says, "Where do you order your thank you cards? We get ours made locally. So there's a there's a local printer, and we do like uh, four color front and back, four by six postcards. So I would say look for a local printer so you don't have to pay for the shipping costs. Um, but you can get you can get thank you like business cards on um, what's that website that everybody uses? Vista Print. Vista, Vista, Vista Print. Yeah. yeah. What I want to know is how many people's dogs." freaked out when they heard the squeak oh true uh, you know you know my dog does that with the, uh doorbells and commercials and shows. <gasps> yep doorbells you know what's been happening a lot to me when i've been watching like youtube videos and a few people in our videos after watching our videos have said um every time that i say like um okay google oh their thing comes on so it'd be like so in that one video when i was like um hey google it's gonna play it. I was like, "Hey, Google, play classical music." Yeah, everybody just like it started playing. Like, <laughs> we we control that. your homes. <laughs> hey, Google, play Rally Roots videos. Oh, that's what it's we should do. Doing that. How do you this. how do you find comps on clothes? Is there a secret? Nope, there's no secret. Um, just go to eBay, type in the type of clothing that you're looking for, sort it by sold listings, and you'll see like items that have sold. Oh, she's but, eating the tag on the toy. Yeah, it's then get on that. Ooh, what did I get? Oh I got Whoa. little mochi face. Oh my gosh! So cool. I love she all the, the oh the mountain the brand. Mountain, it's gonna be hysterical. I'm, a, oh, I'm usually a fan it's of the mo. mountain. No. Oh my god! So cool. That's incredible. I love it. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Like yeah, give that back. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Does it look like you, Momo? I feel it like Christmas just, like just happened again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has a toy mouth. in her mouth, little it's pieces of the trash. The, yeah, the tag. Hopefully, you hopefully you guys don't mind our show like taking a turn and us opening a bunch of presents. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us and hopefully you can see that we're just like we're real people, you know. Sometimes we're pretty normal. <laughs> sometimes we just open presents. So. <laughs> Uh, what size poly bags do we use the most? There's two oh. minutes left, so we're gonna do like rapid Ooh, fire by questions, go, go, go. right? I think ten by eight. I think twelve. No, twelve by, by fifteen. Ten by fifteen is one, and then twelve by eight, I think, is the yeah. other one. Right? Oh. You want this? I thought I eleven it. by fourteen was like a super standard, but yeah. Okay, quick, go and two oh, more. Uh, very good point. Big Drift Thrift says eBay has thank you cards available that can be chosen with your free shipping supplies coupon. If you have oh. an eBay store. Um, if you have an eBay store, you get a free shipping supply coupon. So yeah. if you haven't used that yet, which we haven't actually used ours, we need to go use oh, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can go and order free shipping. That's where we get like all of our tape, our eBay tape. So it's Do a good expire? idea. We have listed a couple of clothes on Amazon. They were new with tags and they were, the sales rank was too high. So we ended up having them sent back to us, right? And yeah. Listing them on eBay and eventually they just sold. They sold. It was kind of like a loss. Yeah. Clothing for us doesn't do too well on Amazon, um, and you can't sell used clothing on Amazon. Only new clothing. So yeah, chimichangas or burritos. Oh, 
chimichangas. Chimichangas. I don't know that Ooh, I've had a chimichanga. It's just a fried burrito. It's so good. We're gonna get you a chimichanga. But man, okay. I'll yeah, have maybe we have to have like a Let chimichanga. Me, get a chimichanga. Is that Dragon Ball Z shirt What's that over movie? there? I want to. Salvatore said, "Did I get his Dragon Ball Z oh, shirt?" Oh, it's in the washing machine. Oh, it's being washed the, right in now. The washing machine. Yes, yeah. I got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's really cool. Like it. Um. It's nine right now. We'll give it a couple more minutes because we still okay. have over 700 people watching and we haven't That's answered fair. like that many questions. So I feel bad. Flower. Um, want to thank the Rally Roots fam for teaching the biz. You're very welcome. No Love problem. watching you guys. You always make me smile. Do we do we wholesale with Amazon through suppliers? Yes. So part of what we do with Amazon is wholesale. Yes. Can Arm tattoos meeting what? before they request it. Can you issue a return before they request it? Yes. So the way that you would do that is go to um, on eBay to your sold item. There's a drop down. You would click on uh, view PayPal transaction. And then from PayPal, you can refund the payment straight off there. Later, um, alligators. How do I upgrade to a store? Uh, just if you just Google eBay store plans. That's the best way. That's the best just way. That, and then yeah. you can you can upgrade straight from that link. Um. um. What do you do when someone refuses to pay for an item? Had someone from Canada offer me on an item, I accepted, then he refused to pay, saying it was too high. Oh, geez, that's crazy. <laughs> we um, Ben on them. We, yeah, we we <laughs> we fly to Canada and beat them. I'm not. Yeah. Um, you just open an unpaid item case on yeah. eBay, and you can, if you have an eBay store, you can set it to uh, to automatically open an unpaid item case. So, like, if we have something that sells and then it sits for a couple of days and they haven't paid, eBay will automatically open that unpaid item case, and then if they still don't pay. Uh, then we get our listing fees back and we just re automatically relist the items. So. Yeah, sorry, Salvatore, to hear that. Take a lot of um, vitamins for your muscles. Vitamins, which yeah, I can't Justin, science. Justin Turner says to Dow. Again? Oh, and my not gosh. You. Not you, <laughs> Callie. <laughs> um, Rad says, is your new location going to have a storefront so you can sell some items locally? We want to. We want to. We'll see what happens yeah. with the building. We're still working on it, but... Stuff. Um, we would love, love to have a storefront. We, we were even thinking like maybe we could sell our merchandise as well as like some vintage stuff there. Maybe open, we could like, just be open on a, like a Thursday yeah, once or twice a week from, yeah, like yeah. 12 to five or yeah. something. Um, <laughs> sign autographs. You, know, you can sell yes. money for all the monies. Patricia says, what's the cost of your mentorship? Mm -hmm. um, so the last couple rounds have been $347 for the entire mentorship and then two months of like training where you can email us whatever questions you want. Mm -hmm. The next round will be probably around that same price, but we only take on 75 people at a time um, and it's it's very, very limited. Um, so you would go and submit a form. Callie put the, the link in there and then we'll email you when those spots open. They go very fast, so. Yeah, it's annoying whenever buyers don't pay. You're right. It is I annoying. It is annoying. eBay should fix that. Yeah, you know what? The they the, can the first thing they I think they need to fix with that is like require. You should be able to require immediate payment with best offer. There's no reason why they shouldn't fix that. Right. Like it's the easiest thing to just say, okay, if your offer gets accepted, we immediately require charge immediate you. or at least require payment within like you know a, a few hours. I understand that people will like make an offer and then their offer will get accepted and they're not right there at their computer, but there should still be some sort of a require immediate payment thing. They should just auto charge whatever your payment method is. Yeah. If it's accepted because you, that was your offer. That's what you're willing to pay. It's ridiculous. So look at that yeah. rump stump reseller says there's a thrift store by me. That's only open on Tuesdays and Thursdays and they have been going strong for 40 years. Nice. Good for them. Whoa. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's, that's incredible. Cool. Ours won't be a thrift store per se. It'll be more of like a curated type store if we open. And then when it comes to washing clothes, I always see lots of questions about that. We only wash items that don't pass basically the smell test. Most people donate from their closets, not their hampers. If it's obviously not clean, we 100% yeah. wash it. If it doesn't smell great, we 100% wash it. If it maybe even smells like, eh, it doesn't smell yeah. so fresh, we will wash it. We wash but if it's fine, dry clean tag on it, we do yeah. not wash it, especially if it's a new item with tags, we don't right. wash it. Pretty much, yeah. The only time we won't wash is like dry cleaning tag or new with tags. Because it can get timely yeah. with, you know, money and cost to right. wash the items. But, you know, as per eBay's conditions and po or policy, right. you have to mail clean items. So if it's obviously not clean, you're violating yeah. eBay's terms and conditions. So just always be aware of that. 
violently. Salvatore said, would you consider opening the mentorship to maybe a hundred people? I don't think so. It's a lot of work, honestly. Like um, we, we try to keep it like to a small group of people and we try to keep the cost of it as low as we can possibly take on. Um, so it, to be fair to everybody, like to give everybody as much time as we, as we can spend with them, I think a hundred would probably be too many people. And we don't just answer questions like once a day. We Always, look throughout like, the day. Yeah. Every morning when we wake up, Ryan answers mentor questions before yep. he even has his coffee. Then he has coffee. And before you leave the house, you always hop on and make sure that yep. they're answered. So, and you do a lot of the I just answering. feel like if someone's paid us for, for help, like we should do yeah. whatever we can to help those people out. I mean, you de we definitely like respond five times a day hmm. yeah patricia says flat lay or hanging the item is better we do oh. yeah we yeah. do a hanging flat lay which if you if you go on youtube if you type in rally roots hanger you'll see like how we hang the items hang flat lay because we stole it from trista from yep. side hustle pro side, it was way too things. rough on everyone's back to try to take a picture of an item on the ground because then mm. you always get that angle you know whereas if it's against a wall, you don't get that weird angle distortion. Yeah. And lighting, guys, it's not as easy as you would think to light the item on the True. ground. It's easier to light it hanging. So that's just what we found works for us. Thank you for the $1.38 Super Tech number. Red Neckerson's resales. That's a fun name. Can we talk about our light box setup? Yeah, so for clothing mm -hmm. ha hanging on the wall, we have, um, we have two light boxes on the left and the right. And then we have another light box hanging above the item. And then we also, if the, if we need it, we have a ring light um, right in the front of because the item. Because the bottom well. of the item doesn't have a yeah. light shining up. So that right. helps a lot. But then also remember, like on eBay, um, you can use their editing tools to brighten up that background. So usually, like when you upload a picture, if you adjust the contrast first, like up, up the bump the contrast up a little bit, and then bump the brightness up, it'll clear up that background. If you're taking it on a Go for it. If you don't have a store, you don't have those options. Yeah. You can yeah. only crop. Ben said he had the option when yeah, he didn't have a store. I don't so. have a store. And when I had listed that item today, it, yeah. the only thing I could do was crop it. Maybe that's a new thing. A lot of people, that's what I thought. If you didn't have a store, you I, didn't have I, this I feature. You know what's when... weird with eBay? Even if you have the same like account, same store as the person next to you, it might look totally different. Like on true. our different accounts, the bulk shipping. Right. One yeah. isn't turned over right. yet. True. So you have to call eBay and tell them, which how would you even know unless somebody says something about it? And then you're like, wait, I don't have that option. And then you have to call eBay and explain to them they need to reset your store. I know Prince yeah. had to do it. Right. His store, he had a bunch of issues with it and they had to go through the back end. But there was a lot of people say they know. don't have a store and they can do it. So I, yeah. I don't know. I guess. That's yeah. Weird. If you if you don't have those features, I would say give eBay a call and see if they can add it to it. Yeah. I'm gonna call them. If I didn't have that feature, I would have bought a store way earlier. Right. Yeah. Mm, uh, interesting. Callie or Jay Jasper says, Callie, you have to you have it go to the advanced features. So maybe that's your answer. Maybe you just have to go to advanced features. Huh. So what you're saying is <laughs> I should actually try and figure out if I can do it instead of just <laughs> see, and that's what I said. On. Jeremy Jeremy says only crop is mobile, desktop lets you brighten. That's what I thought for I was on my well. lappy tappy. Were you? Yeah. Lappy tappy. Lappy tappy. It's a ghost, Casper. <laughs> Thank you for nice. the $2. What products can I start selling FBA? If it's a brand new account on Amazon, you're going to be very restricted to what you're allowed to sell. Yeah. Um, I would say one of the best things to do is like take your Amazon seller app and just go into a store and start scanning barcodes. And if you're allowed to sell that item, then you know that you're not restricted with that brand. Um, but typically with a brand new Amazon account, um, some of the only stuff you can sell are like used books use books mm -hmm. and just continue going. The thing about Amazon is the longer you have your account and the more you sell, the more chances you have to, to start getting ungated. So Word. Cassie, thank you for the $2 says listing clothing, best way to take pics process and Callie go front Ben tag ben now. back extras. Right. So like and a close up of the weave yeah. of the fabric or any, if there's like a any design flaws. or flaws all the flaws and absolutely make sure that the color stays consistent from the beginning picture yeah. to the last picture. We look at so many store when we do our store reviews and I, you can't tell what color that item is because yeah. in five pictures, it's a different color right. and that who wants to buy an item if they don't know what the actual color is of it. True. So February. Um, and Mark, thank you for the $2 super chat. We appreciate it. 
Metallica Madman says, what? I don't have a weave. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing that we do with our clothing is we put a picture of the measurements um, of the measurements of the item. We take a picture of that and actually put it in our listings. So we don't just put the measurements like in the item description or in the item specifics. It's actually a picture because a lot of people are buying stuff on mobile devices. A lot of people are. Um, I think like more than 40% of our sales now on eBay happen on mobile. And wow. a lot of like on, on mobile, I buy stuff on mobile on eBay too. too. And it's very All rare that I click on the description. It's very rare. Usually I just look at the pictures and then I buy the item. So I think a lot of people buy that way. They just look at the pictures and then they click purchase. So that's why we put the measurements as a picture. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Megan Steele for the $2 super chat. How can you drive traffic to your listings? Usually um, on eBay, usually on eBay, you really don't need to. Uh, eBay is organically, you should be found as long as you have the right keywords in your title um, and you're, you're listed in the right category. Um, one way that you can do it is by doing promoted listings. On Amazon, it's completely different. If you're doing like selling products on Amazon and you want to drive traffic, then you almost you, you almost have to do promotions on there. So. Yeah, and make sure that your prices are, you know, reasonable. Yeah, price Don't, is like, a big factor. Price too. your category, that's especially. A, that's a yeah. Good point. And obviously good pictures. There's a <laughs> there's a few things, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Um, like your first picture, you want someone to click on it, right? So make sure it's really good. Still 700 people watching. That's awesome. Oh wow. I guess we'll keep going. Yeah, we should just do two hours next Monday. Right? <laughs> two hours? <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to like lean back. Lean, lean back. back. Jasmine. Look how funny I look when I lean, lean back on the couch. That's lean ridiculous. This. Jasmine that's said. Don't dance. We just pull up a pants and do the rock away. Oh my gosh! Lean back, <laughs> lean back. I can't. I can't do that. Sorry. I when you were in high school and that song came up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, Jasmine says we've made fifty five hundred dollars in two months because of you guys. That is oh. awesome. I mean, that's oh. very, very small part to do with us. That's you out there taking action. So it's so true. Good taking for you. Action is really big. Like called a. What's it called? Were we supposed to do another hat giveaway? I'm confused. We did one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did the beanie. Um, whatever choice hat you want. Is the mentoring program courses good for longtime sellers? So uh, with the mentoring, we tell people like if you're making $100,000 net on eBay or Amazon already, I wouldn't take our mentoring program. But if you're not doing six figures net online, then yes, it will help you out. Now look, Doug, he's right. He said view count drops as we... As started starts, singing. <laughs> we lost 15 watchers as soon as we started that, singing. That makes sense. Wasn't it just me though in the beginning? I sing a <laughs> Was little it my bit. Fault? It's probably my fault. You oh, look, now song? that we're not singing, the views are coming <laughs> up. Just like oh, you no, 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 sing. We're going to lose views. Sing the song sounds Vicky, like she's singing. Vicky says, be like us and do 90 minute shows. We could do that. We could oh, try nine, that. Nine, but you're back. Doesn't it hurt Vicky after that? <laughs> I'll have to message you guys and ask. She's a strong woman. Yeah. Simon says download. Thank you sure. for the five dollars. Hi guys, another question. How do you handle your death pile? My pile saddens me when I look at it. Oh uh, yeah. Ben. <laughs> ben. We, we hired Ben. We hired for ben. well, number one is we hired Callie. And then when our pile just continued to grow, that's when we hired Ben. So <laughs> I, I cry for them every time I look at them. He cries yeah. for them. I haven't um, taken pictures in months. Ben's been on it though. Yeah, I don't raise really like Hallelujah. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I think the best way to tackle it is to sort your items by um, highest price, like the mm -hmm. the most money you'll make on it, because those are the ones that we kind of like we enjoy taking pictures of. True. And then just like set a time frame and a goal. So s line up your items and then say, I am going to list these 30 items in the next two hours or whatever, three hours, and then just stay there. Like put your phone away unless you're taking pictures with it, but <laughs> put your phone away, put everything away and just like get to work, snap pictures and get it done. Yeah. yeah. I like to find a nice it. long podcast. That's like a three oh, hour oh, podcast and I don't stop till the podcast is over. Smart. That's a good way of doing it. So I hustle Jack says do a show during the lame Super Bowl. Oh, uh, <laughs> do a show during Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. The Super Bowl will literally be the first game of football that I watch this year. I don't even know who's playing. Or have watched I at heard all. the Patriots are playing versus the Colorado Horses. No. No. Versus nope. the Rams. <laughs> Wait, oh, I was like, horses. was I wrong about <laughs> the Patriots? I don't even know. Weren't they in it last year? Yeah. Joseph Mayo, thank you for the two dollars super chat. Just hit power seller. Thanks for the advice. You're very That's welcome. That's amazing, power seller. Go you. And when's then, the last time y'all raised the roof? Right now, <laughs> I've just been here like playing with Mochi's toy this entire yeah, time. Yeah, spinner basically. Um, oh. 
Justin Pacman, thank you for the five dollars. Thanks for the tips and advice. Can't wait to go deeper into wholesale. Absolutely, yeah. Wholesale is the way to go. Justin Backman's been with us for a long time. I had yeah. to go look him up on Instagram because I was like, I need a face. <sighs> he to the country. I think he has a beard. Country. Yeah. yeah. Y'all heard him talk. He talked like he from the south. <laughs> <laughs> Callie's single. I think we're done. <laughs> Slide into my DMs. Callie's world on Instagram. <laughs> Callie's underscore. And then we lose underscore. all of our watchers again. All Except right, guys. The ones that count. <laughs> Nine fifteen. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Um, we'll be back again live on Mondays at eight PM Eastern. Is when we go live, and we I always do a giveaway of an item and a twenty dollars giveaway. Yeah, we do. We try, you know. So we'll keep doing. We'll keep doing giveaways. I think we're going to try to do like more giveaways outside of the live shows as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, and Tyson, Ooh. thank oh, you, right. thank you for the five dollars super chat, Tyson. Tyson. Um, but, but yeah, we're gonna. Whoa. Wow. James whoa. Coleman coming in with a twenty dollars super, super, super chat. chat. Says, hey guys, I just came here to apologize to y'all. I skipped over your videos for so long because I had a wrong idea of your attitude based solely on the thumbnail pics of most videos. Sorry for that. Oh. Wow. Well, we hope that uh, you can see the real us for who we are, and, and we hope you like us now. Thanks for giving <laughs> us a chance. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe you. we should awesome. change up our thumbnails. <laughs> but thank you, James. We appreciate that. And thank you for the $20 super chat. Um, but yeah, uh, I filmed a video today. So that one will be edited tomorrow. So next video will be out on Wednesday. Look out for that one. And um, and then we're also going to do the the part two to the Western Hall. So we're going to film that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Jeremy J wants fist bumps for the end. Oh, yes. boom. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye. Bye.